In this tutorial, I will show you how you can make custom people icons within PowerPoint. We will use simple shapes, we will use subtraction, and we will also edit the points to achieve a completely custom design like this. If you want to learn how to quickly make those icons, let's head over to the tutorial. Let us start with a very simple design. You don't have to search for icons, you can just go to insert and use the shapes we have. I'll use a shape, I'll select this short shape. I'll hit my shift key to create the first part. I will rotate it to about this degree, then I'll make it smaller. Okay, I have to rotate it once again. If you don't see the line and don't know if you are precise here, you can always go to view and open up grid lines or guides. I'll open guides. I will just check if I'm okay with this. All right. Okay, this is the first shape. Then you go to insert shapes and you insert a simple oval. You click on the oval, you press shift and basically you have the person icon ready. Then you can select both icons, select no outline, select a color you want, for example, a yellow one or a gray one. Let's select this gray. I'll hit even right click, group, group, and this is my person icon. You can do very similar icons just by using other shapes. You can use, for example, if this would be a woman, you could select something more robust for the man. So i would select this icon or this icon, for example, like this. And this would be my man. Well, he looks a little bit weird. We can adjust that, but basically it looks okay. Then I would click on this icon, go to home, format painter, and just paint over the format. If you want to be a little more advanced, you can also do more advanced icons. Let me copy this for example. I make it like that, a bit bigger. Then I would select the circle. I would copy the circle and I would place the circle here like this. So they are touching each other. And I would select the bottom one. I will hold shift key and select the top one. Then I will go to format, merge shapes, and I would subtract this one. This would create a custom icon, a very unique custom icon. Then I would just need to select the head, copy the head, place the head here. Of course, this torso is a bit too big. I should work with this icon, but I just wanted to show you a more advanced possibility of creating an icon with the merge shapes options. Remember, you can click on two shapes and we have union, combine, fragment, intersect. You have several options here which you can work with. The last thing I want to show you, and it would be a bit more advanced, but it's also really, really cool to know in PowerPoint that this is possible. You can go to insert. Let me insert another shape. Let's say this would be a much better torso for a man than this one. This is very rectangular. So I'll select this one but it kind of doesn't fit my requirements. I would like it to be rounded or something. So you can also go to edit shape and edit points. Now, this may seem a bit more advanced, but I can right click here and I don't want to delete the point. I want to straight or smooth it. Let me smooth this point. Let me also smooth this point and you get the idea. Now it's up to you to create a nice icon. Of course, it's a bit difficult. The and you see, I already made a mistake. I clicked away and it snaps off. So PowerPoint is not perfect for this vector usage, but it is possible to create something custom like that with the Bezier pads. Let me make it a bit similar. Well, it doesn't quite look as I wanted it to look, but I would also need to select this one and place this one here. Then I would select this one and make it like that. Okay, it looks a bit better. We could also smooth out this one smooth out this one and then just change it. Change it like this, change this one like that. Well, it's far from perfect. I would need to sit around a bit longer with this, but then again, I could copy this. We could again make something like that. Select the second one, select the first one, again, subtract them, select the head and boom, we have a big person like that. I would go to home and format the painter. And this is how I would go about creating custom icons in PowerPoint. Now I see this one was the most advanced and it's also the most ugly from all of them. So as you see, simple shapes may work even better. Then again, I could just group, I could copy it. I could copy it several times. I could select those persons. Of course I did it wrong. They should be grouped. 
we have three groups here, then I would go to format, align, I would distribute them so they are equal and you have a perfect audience ready for usage in your slide. This is how you can create custom people icons in PowerPoint. I hope this teach you something in PowerPoint and you'll remember about this when you work in PowerPoint and this will make you a better graphic and presentation designer.